What's up people, it's your camera boy Jonah and I'm back with another video. Sometimes you want to take pictures of your friends, your family or for example your niche actually makes that the people that you shoot are not models. For example, wedding photography like Veronica does here. Hi. Or maybe for once you want to have a cool pic of yourself instead of being behind the camera. Well, now I'm really, really a bad model myself. But recently I got engaged. For the first time in my life I did a photo shoot of myself with Veronica here. But when I got the pictures back, I was actually mind blown about how good they were. And how actually not awkward I was, which is very strange for me in photos. So I thought I have to get her on the channel and share some of her tips with you guys when you are in this position where you need to shoot with people who are not models. So I think we have five tips. Yes, five tips. So five tips, we're gonna see you on a different spot and start with the first one. I think the dog is pretty happy with this spot, so it's time for the first tip of Veronica. Yeah, yeah so if you see that uh, a person or a couple, they are shy or they cannot relax, tell them to move, to run in the camera or uh, they can uh, do some stuff with each other like laugh or something. So this was, uh, this was, uh, this will really help them to relax. You will get uh, true emotions uh, when uh, they will be in a movement. She's 100% right because when me and Natasha arrived at the shoot, I was like a little bit nervous because as I said, normally I'm behind the camera and immediately she sort of like asked us to sort of just hug each other, uh, dance a little bit, which made me almost forget about the camera and just actually be like a normal human being, not thinking like, fuck, how, how does my face need to be? How are my eyes? But just sort of like doing what I'm naturally doing while she is snapping pictures of that real moment. So that's a very good tip. Make the people do normal things that they might also do in real life. I like the ones where we were running. I'll show them right now. So we were running, so it's really cool. It's in motion. We were just natural because we were focused on the motion not really on posing, we were just doing uh, something active which made it very natural. Finding a new spot with the dog. Maybe, maybe the dog can choose what next place will be the spot to record. I think the dog is happy with his new spot. I'm gonna put him or her. Him. I'm gonna put him down on my lap and let Veronica explain the second tip to you people. So the second tip which uh, uh, I didn't uh, use it uh, before uh, from the beginning. <laughs> so the take. Uh, okay. <laughs> Second tip, which I didn't uh, use uh, before, showing uh, the photos to your models during the photo shoot. Sometimes it really helps for model to become more confident when they see that uh, they look good on the photos. I really recommend using this tip if you see that uh, um, your model needs some support. Yes, I have to agree on this one. After a couple of clicks she uh, showed us the photos and I was already quite amazed then like oh wait actually I don't look like we, we actually look good. The photos are very nice and it gives you uh, yeah, confidence to kind of get a little bit more ballsy, a little bit more confident in, in front of the camera. And it also sort of helps you, I guess, with maybe yourself thinking like how to pose because you just saw it. You can maybe see what you would like to do in the next photos. And she actually did a little extra trick, I think, because when she showed us the photos, she told us that she was going to do it very fast and she just scrolled through the photos. So it was very fast and we only saw kind of like the the atmosphere, the vibe of the photos. Because I'm also a photographer, I know sometimes people just look strange. Even if you're the best model ever, sometimes you just have an expression, your eyes are closed or whatever. And if maybe the person would see that photo, then they might not get confident. But in this way, you kind of avoid these photos that are a little bit weird because you can't avoid that as a photographer. That's just always there, that there are a couple of weird photos in between them. This way you see the vibe of the photos, just the overall, uh, style and how it looks, actually how good they are, the people get more confidence. Oh, time for tip number three. Yes, so tip number three. It's very important to talk with uh, 
a couple or with a model which you shoot. Don't shoot in silence, especially uh, for someone who do it for the first time. Very important uh, to ask uh, some questions, for example, some questions uh, which uh, will make them smile. If it's a couple, you can ask them like a simple question like how they met and in 90% this question will make them smile when they try to remember it and uh, you will be able to shoot like real emotions say uh, at that moment. For sure also a good tip and something that I'm personally kind of working on right now because sometimes as a photographer or videographer you get so caught up on the technical side, your settings, the shooting video, your gimbal or whatever it is you're dealing with a lot of technical things. Sometimes your focus kind of like gets sucked up by that but it's actually very important to talk with your model so that she's not just kind of like standing there and feeling awkward and not comfortable during the shoot because then the nice emotions, the nice expressions will not be there especially when the people are not professionals when they're just kind of yeah, let's say uh, a couple in her scenario, you kind of don't really know what to do, what to expect. So if the photographer is then just really, really busy with the camera alone and not really connecting with you or talking, you don't really know what to do or if you're doing good or bad. It might even be enough to just kind of say, hey, you're doing great, some small things like this, just uh, some sentences that you just use all the time just to make them feel comfortable and not that there's this awkward silence or you could maybe for example have some music I think she asked us before the shoot to, to bring some music to, or to send some music it's next tip ah, <laughs> god damn it alright I'm, I'm gonna shut up shut up time for the next tip so while we are enjoying this amazing sunset here on this cool place it's time for tip number four yes so tip number four uh, <laughs> so, tip number four. To help your models to relax and if you see that uh, they have no clue what to do, you can uh, learn some basic poses or poses you like. So you can save them on your phone and just show them the pictures so they will understand uh, fastly what you want from them. I really agree with that. For example, if I ever take a photo of myself, as I said, I'm really horrible at being uh, a model and posing or whatever I'm always very awkward but when I do it I kind of save some photos uh, that I like from other creators from other people that I see on Instagram or whatever and at least when you start the shoot you have something to recreate and then actually what often happens is that you start doing something yourself you maybe get an ID while doing it and you end up with a different photo like a photo of yourself something new but you at least to start had something that gave you a little bit of confidence, something to fall back on that you're not just standing there and have no clue what to do. What I also like, but maybe now I'm ruining tip number five, I don't know, but here's like a little bonus uh, of me. I like to have some prop, for example, a backpack, because if you have a backpack, you have just something where you can place your hands and you can walk and be holding this backpack. While if you don't have this backpack, like where do I put my hands for girls like hats maybe yeah like hats yeah, even as a guy you know you can like hold yeah. your head maybe or whatever something extra to do with your hands uh, makes it always a little bit more natural so a little bonus tip before we go to tip number five I'm gonna take the dog and find a new spot for oh <laughs> wait that's super cool I also want the high five you can try excuse me sky come here yep yet he yep. thinks you're playing with him. Yep. Oh, well, oh, that's a high five. Oh, I got my high five. All right, time for the next tip. Does it look good from here? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're losing light. The sun is down. So we're quickly going to shoot the last tip for you people. So here you go, tip number five. Never tell to your model that she or he or they do something wrong. Just if you want to correct them, tell them like an advice that it will be better to put your hand like this or something like this or go uh, uh, to that corner, it's better with light. But don't tell them like, no, it's awful, don't do it because uh, they will uh, lose any passion and they will not uh, want to continue the shooting after this and their mood will be spoiled. Don't push your models. Uh, to do something. If you see that uh, they don't want to do it, uh, uh, don't push, just uh, uh, suggest something else. Yeah, this is 100% true. Even with like real models, people will do it as a job. When you tell them that they're doing something bad, oftentimes, even though they have quite a lot of confidence in front of the camera, they still might get a little bit insecure, especially if you're shooting for the first time with this model. 
you don't really have a bond yet. So if even real models, experienced models have this, then for sure people who are not used to modeling become quite shy very easily when you tell them that they're doing something bad. Rather than saying, wait, I really don't like this pose uh, or don't do this, actually don't focus on the negative uh, part, on the negative shots. Just keep shooting, just be quiet or just say some positive things and just keep shooting until you find something that you do like and then actually say, wait, can we hold on? I really like this. Let's take some more shots like this. So don't focus on the negative one. Let that one flow and continue the shoot until you find something that you really like and then focus on that one. So these were the five tips uh, from Veronica. As I said, I mean, if even I look good on the photos with her tips, then for sure you can use them in your next shoot and you'll have way more awesome photos. Check out her Instagram and her work. It's linked down below. See you on the next one. It's time to go home now because it's really dark. Maybe you can't even see myself. Hope you enjoy these tips and keep on shooting. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me sir, can you say like and subscribe? Oh, you heard him, like and subscribe and see you in the next one.